Welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen and this is Jen Clayton Beauty. We do everything beauty and makeup and that includes ranking eyeshadow palettes. Every month I rank all of the palettes that I tried the previous month from worst to to best. I tell you why they're ranked where they're ranked. I link them all in the description box. So if you're interested in picking up any of the palettes that I tried in August, they will all be at the top of the description box. And in August, I tested eight eyeshadow palettes. So we're going to talk all about them. We're going to rank them from worst to best. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. Turn your bell on because like I said, I do a palette ranking every month and I actually upload lots and lots of new videos every single week. I will have all of the palettes linked down below for you. Any discount codes, I'll put those there. Direct link to pick up the palette. It'll all be easy shopping for you down in the description box, as well as my favorite beauty boxes. All of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video, if you would like to shop this look. Discounts to my favorite indie brands. And come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So let's rank the eight eyeshadow palettes I tried in August. So like I said, I'm going to rank these from worst to best. So coming in at number eight, the worst palette I tried for the month of August is this one from Laura Geller. This is the Wildflower Wishes palette. Now the color story of this, when I unboxed this, in my, I got this in a subscription box. When I unboxed it, I said, oh, it's a really pretty just fall neutral color story. And I will tell you that this palette isn't horrible. The mattes, they leave a little bit to be desired. I noticed a lot of the mattes faded throughout the day, and by the end of the day, a lot of the color was pretty much gone. And I found that if I over blended or tried to layer the mattes too much, they blended away to nothing. Now, the shimmers in this palette, they were beautiful. I was pleasantly surprised at how nice the shimmers performed. But when the mattes are so lackluster, it's really hard for me to rank this palette any higher. The mattes in this palette, honestly, are, are pretty bad, but the shimmers are really nice. This palette actually is in my declutter for the year. I'm not going to keep it. It's not something I'm going to reach for again. And like I said, mainly because of the mattes. So the Laura Geller Wildflower Wishes comes in last at number eight. Coming in at number seven is the Il Maquillage Color Boss Palette. I also got this in a subscription box. This is another just neutral palette. This one is substantially better than the Laura Geller. The mattes performed a lot better. The shimmers. They're not as good as the Laura Geller, but they're they're good. The mattes in this palette were definitely more pigmented. I could build them up. They didn't fade throughout the day. The shimmers, though, were a little lackluster even compared to the Laura Geller, but they're still really pretty. Unfortunately, it's not my favorite matte formula. It's not my favorite shimmer formula. And because it's just a neutral palette, I'm really not going to reach for this again. It is a very weighted palette. It is very luxe feeling. It is very expensive. I want to say this is a $60 palette. I personally would not pay $60 for this. I would rather have an indie makeup palette. And this is another palette similar to the Laura Geller that's just not going to stay in my collection. I just, I don't think I'll ever reach for it again. Now the remaining six palettes are really good palettes and they ranked in these orders for multiple reasons, but all of them are really good formulas, really good palettes, palettes I will reach for again, palettes staying in my collection. So coming in at number six is the newest release from Gourmand Girls and this is the Gourmandise palette. Now this palette performs absolutely beautifully. The mattes are amazing. The shimmers are beautiful. The reason this is ranking a little bit lower is simply the color story. I like the color story. It's just a little bit harder to create looks with. I'm not as inspired immediately when I look at this palette. I really have to think about how I want to curate my eye look. Now I did a full video on most of these palettes, actually all of these palettes. So I'll link the corresponding video to the palette for you in the description box if you want to see me create a look. The look I created with this palette was absolutely beautiful. I loved it. It was such a pretty look. And I have reached into this palette again, and I do enjoy this palette. Like I said, the formula is really, really good. It's just a little bit harder, takes a little bit more thought to get a cohesive look out of it. And that's the only reason it's ranking a little bit lower because I love Gourmand Girls. It's one of my favorite indie brands. And the palette itself is absolutely stunning. Coming in at number five is Moon Slice Beauty. This is the blue moon palette. Now I will tell you, this is a blue monochromatic palette. This is one of the prettiest 
blue monochromatic palettes. The formula in this is so good. I had never tried Moon Slice Beauty before. This was my first time and I love the look I created in the video. Again, the video is linked with the palette in the description box, but it's a blue color story. It's a monochromatic blue color story. So you're a little more limited on the looks that you can create. That's the only reason it didn't rank higher in the ranking for August because the formula of this is really one of the best that I've tried from indie brands. The shimmers are stunning. I do love the inclusion of the purples because it makes it not a boring monochromatic blue palette. You actually have a little bit more you can do. We even have this kind of taupey shimmer that adds a little bit of versatility to the palette. I said in the video and I'll say it again, I'm excited to see what Moon Slice releases in the future because this is definitely an indie brand on my radar. Coming in at number four is the Gourmand Girls Ladybug Glow Paradise Cove palette. Now this came in my ice cream beauty box in August. Can we just talk about this color story? I love it. I absolutely love this color story. It's so, so pretty. I love the greens. I love the blues. I love that there's neutrals. There's so many neutral shades in here. You can do a beautiful neutral eye look. I love how grungy it is. And it just gives me summer vibes, paradise vibes, absolute paradise vibes. I mean, the color story on the inside matches the outside perfectly. And the formula, chef's kiss so good. The mattes are amazing. The shimmers are so sparkly. I also appreciate that we have three shimmers and the rest are mattes. That way we have more look options. We can incorporate these beautiful shimmers, but we have so many different looks we can create with all of the mattes. Really, really nice palette. I mean, absolutely beautiful palette. Coming in at number three is Drugstore. We have the NYX Beetlejuice palette. I have used this palette now three times. I did film a video on TikTok with this. I did a full review of this collection here on YouTube. I'll link the video. This palette is really, 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 really nice. It is very nice. It actually reminds me of indie quality in drugstore. Now it is a little bit pricey for a drugstore palette, but it's worth it. It's worth it. The mattes, beautiful. The shimmers, wow. These are the best shimmers NYX has ever put out. In my video, and I'll say it again here, I wish this black down here was not a matte with sparkle. I wish it was just a full black matte. However, I was able to use it as a matte in my eye look and it was so beautiful. I had this Beetlejuice Halloween vibe eye look and I loved it. I will link my TikTok down below for you as well if you don't follow me. My TikTok is beauty related and like I said, I did a look. I did the same look I did on YouTube on TikTok and you guys have been loving it. This palette is really good. Actually, this whole collection from NYX is really good. Number two, and this took me by surprise, that's the Natasha Denona Xenon palette. Now, I got this palette in a trend mood box, and when I filmed the video, I mentioned that I did not buy this palette when it was first released because it's 50 Shades of Grey. And the reviews of this palette were just that, 50 Shades of Grey. I just didn't want to spend $69 on it, but when I saw that it was in the trend mood box, I was like, come to mama, I'm gonna get you because this trend mood box was $62 and it was full of amazing products. This one included, and this is $69. This palette took me by surprise, you guys. I loved my eye look. I popped on a red lip with this cool tone look. It's one of my favorite cool tone neutral looks I have ever done. So many of you even reached out and said you loved my look and it made you look twice at the Xenon palette. I definitely think this is worth the money, especially if you're a cool tone lover, you love a good smoky eye, you love a good cool tone neutral. You guys have to watch the video if you missed it because I was blown away by how much I loved my look and I really like this palette. It's coming in at number two. Who'd have known? Drum roll please. Coming in at number one. Hands down is the new palette from Nomad Cosmetics, and this is the Fuji Five Lakes. First of all, the packaging of this, exquisite. It is like an oil, it is textured like a painting, and the color story of this screams fall to me. I love this palette so much. I cannot tell you how much I love this palette. My look I created in my video, I'm obsessed with. I've used this palette multiple times since. I actually did a full yellow look. It was beautiful. This palette is perfection for fall, perfection for winter. These cool tone shades are beautiful for winter. And as we get closer to Valentine's Day, the reds and pinks in this palette, 
I mean, it's absolutely stunning. I would say quality wise, the mats and shimmers, some of the best Nomads ever put out. Maybe the best Nomad has ever put out. I love this palette so much. It inspires me, it makes me happy, it makes me wanna use it. I really, really love it. Love, 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 so glad I have this palette in my collection. Like I said, I've reached for it multiple times and you saw I tried eight palettes in one month and I've reached for this one multiple times. So, so, so good. I do have a discount for Nomad. I'll link it down below for you. But Nomad Fuji Five Lakes, the number one palette for August. So those are the eight palettes that I tried in August, ranked from worst to best. Let me know what you think of my ranking. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Have you tried any of these palettes? Do you love them? Do you hate them? Let me know everything down below. And like I said, all of the palettes will be linked at the top of the description box. If you want to pick any of these up for yourself, I will also have the corresponding video. If you want to see me use these palettes in action, see the look that I created, that will also be in the description box, along with my favorite beauty boxes, all of the makeup that I'm wearing in today's video. If you would like to shop this look, discounts to my favorite indie brands and come follow me on TikTok for more beauty and makeup. So that is a wrap on ranking all eight of the palettes I tried in August.